Bitter Kids is an upcoming four-piece, ambient post-hardcore band based out of St. Catharines, Ontario. Following the release of their EP Monster House in February, the band has gone on two tours and has built a large fan base with the help of social media. Putting on fun and energetic sets and really involving the audience, Bitter Kids is a must-see band. I had the chance to sit down and talk with them after their set while they were in Kingston during their Ontario tour with Say We Can Fly. Uh, do you guys mind going around and letting us know who you are and what you do in the band? So For sure, start. I'm Damien and I play guitar. I'm David and I play bass. I'm JD and I sing. I'm Chase and I play drums. <laughs> um, so some bands have like a crazy story that of how they came up with their band name. How did you guys come up with yours? Is there any specific reason uh, or? The honest truth is our old bass player came up with the name. Um, there's like a story behind it. Like in a nutshell, it's just like he's probably the most bitter kid I've ever met in my life, Jeff. To be honest, so that's how he came up with it. He just said like, um, I'm to, I'm to he basically just like bitter kids means like it's about like kids that want to do what they oh, want to yeah, do. do what they want to do and like don't like be like don't don't agree with the fact of people that just you know play it safe and yeah just like. They get teach stuff you doing uh, yeah. what they don't want to do when they're unhappy. Like you gotta do what you do what you want to do to to be happy. Your parents tell you when you're young, like, oh, you can be whatever you want. You can do all this stuff. But then once you get to a certain age, like, there's like this funnel that you like start going into. Oh, now all of a sudden your parents change their mind and you have to go to school and like do all these things and creating a world of bitter kids, as Jeff has said. Um. So. How and when did you guys all meet slash get together? Like about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Um, it's weird. Everything just fell into place. Like yeah, like yeah. Uh, it, was weird. it was basically just a bunch of guys, you know, just wanting to start this fun little thing. And uh, I was in a band with Dave, and uh, our band broke up, and then they picked me up, just me, and then uh, we picked up Chase. Chase yeah. And then, like you know. Six months ago, mm. yeah, before four or five, five months ago, we picked up Dave. Yeah, and, and yeah. just everything fell into yeah, place. Yeah, just it's weird. Like there was no like, oh, like we're all gonna just gonna start this band. It was like different members, you know. Like it was, yeah. it was our old guitar player and I, and then we got our old bassist Jeff, and then that kind of got filtered out. Then we got JD, and then we got Chase, then we got Dave, and then this is where we are. It kind of just happened super quick. Yeah. I mean, we've only been a band for like not even a year and a half. Yeah. So.
fire bids farewell to the ember with willing help from the wind. They carry past the sail, and the human need once more. A sense of warmth I'll never know until I open this door. Obviously, like everybody, every artist and musician gets into music in their own way. Like, how did you guys realize music was what you wanted to do and that you were really interested in it? For me, I was like really into Blink-182, so like Travis Barker was a huge inspiration. Just, I don't know, I don't know, it was just like, just watching him, kind of, I don't know, it just inspired me. Yeah, just other bands when I was younger. My favorite band was Billy Talent, and I remember going to the ACC and like tearing up when I watched them. Weird, I don't know. It's, it's different for me. Yeah. Uh, when my parents, like when I was younger, actually it was my aunt. She just bought she bought me a guitar for Christmas just because I, I wanted one. And yeah. I, just, I played it all the time, and I just loved it, and I just played it all the time. Yeah. And that's just what I did, and that's what I've always yeah. done. It was, Ever since I was little, like I wouldn't be able to sleep if I didn't have music on or something. Like music was always just like. I feel like for all of us, it just happened. Yeah, it's just, just like <laughs> music was just there. Like I it's started like, with mandolin. It's like I started with like classical piano. Mm -hmm. really it's all weird. Like we've all started with different things. When it comes down to it, it's like the only thing we're all good at. It's you know? music. Yeah, it's just like, music. No matter what we're playing. It's just what we love. Um, so obviously every band loves being in a band for different reasons. Is there like a specific reason that you guys love being in a band? I love playing live. I love the live show. We just get it is. It's who we are. Like I have nothing to define me as a person except for this band. Like so. if I have any like problems going through my head of any sort, when I'm up on stage, it just goes away. I clean forget about everything. Mm -hmm. I only think about what I'm doing right now. It's just like nothing. Else. Mm -hmm. I just like it's, really it's it's the way to ex like kind of express yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? Like just to put out those emotions that you might yeah. have not known at a show or whatever, and just being able to inspire other people the way that you've been inspired. Mm -hmm. um, so every band has kind of like a process of writing music and making music. Do you guys have a specific process or do you just kind of go by whatever happens? There's like a pretty set in stone like process I think for us. Is um, like I have like a home studio kind of thing so I'll like come up with like ideas or whatever and just like whip around and then I'll send them to everyone and then everyone yeah. throws in their parts like it just it's, it's, comes it's a lot it's of weird. stages. Like, a lot it's of stages. not just like you sit down and write a full song and it's done. Like, yeah. It's a lot of like. I'll be up at like 2 a.m. starting like, something. Oh, this is sick. Yeah. Let's do this. Really. A lot of revisiting. Yeah, revisiting. A lot of like cutting out parts and redoing. And our old guitar player writes with us all the time still. So it's like a big part of it. So, um, have you guys done much touring since your band has been started, or...? Is this like our third one? This, this is our, our second, second Oh, second one, okay. Uh, yeah. This is my first tour. <laughs> yeah. True, true. Yeah, true. Yeah. But yeah, this is our second tour, but I mean... We, we know that this is what it is. Yeah, this is what's happening. I mean, we, me and Damien have toured and... Mm -hmm. Like, been previous around. bands and stuff. So. so, like, have you guys had a favorite fan experience yet, or is oh, that yeah. something that... Oh, yeah. I think that Toronto it's, acoustic one. That's what happened. I, there's honestly so many. Yeah, that, like, when we played that acoustic set with with, with Brayden and like we were 
hanging out with fans for like 30 oh, yeah. minutes and they had to force them to go back yeah. to the thing. Yeah. Like, that was that like was mind boggling. Cool. It's just yeah. weird seeing like so many people care. Care, yeah. Like that's all it is. Like coming up with our yeah, CDs like, and wanting us to sign and stuff. It's just like seeing swarm. Really even just like w- wherever we play, just to like inspire people and have them just come up mm-hmm. to us and talk to us. It just means a lot. For me, I love seeing like someone that I recognize on our like Facebook page, like a yeah, social yeah. media thing. It's like, oh, I I, I know seeing your comment. Yeah. Like I I've seen yeah. your logo, you know. We like being personal with yeah, people. That's for what sure. it is about, I think. Yeah, sure. And I think fans like that yeah, too when a band can like for connect. Sure. Um, so obviously, you guys said that you haven't been on too many tours, but have you had like an embarrassing tour memory yet? Something that just always sticks out in your mind. Just little things, like things memory. going wrong on stage like, sometimes, <laughs> you know? Like, or like my voice cracking or something. Yeah, like, li- that's embarrassing. When we first started playing, uh, when our old guitarist Keaton was in the band, he like full on fell into Chase's oh, drum yeah. set. Oh. Like, like full on just fell into it. it. Was, the like, whole it song so just funny. stopped. And we were just like, what the heck just happened? I, I'm, I'm sure I've tripped. Oh, I, yeah. I think I've tripped on water yeah. before. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. like rub at that. Oh, yeah. Like, a lot of falling. Yeah, a lot of falling down, getting too dizzy. But, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, never gonna forget when Damien tried to do a guitar. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. Damien, that Damien, is literally Damien, the most embarrassing thing. We were playing this show one time, and Damien tried to do a guitar spin, and my as he threw it, his strap lock just ripped out, and his guitar went flying across the stage. <laughs> literally, like, slow motion. Like, so like, across just, like, the hit, stage. like, face down and, and, like, slid. I literally put my head down, I was like, I cannot believe that just happened to me. Like, I never thought that was gonna happen. So cool. That was, that's probably like, something If that was on YouTube, remember. that would've gotten, like, a trillion hits, probably. <laughs> hilarious.
obviously every band and just group of people in general have difficulties when working together. Is there any like difficulties you guys have when you're touring or recording or? Honestly, like, I mean, we have like little bickering Cause we're stubborn, for like five that's all minutes, but I mean, we've never had any issues. Huge problems yeah, there's no at all. Issue. Sometimes it's, it's just we're, we're in a tight mood, like we're just kind of like agitated and you say the wrong thing and it hits you like a weird way but that's pretty much like you know what I mean that's just yeah nothing ever nothing ever, like, nothing ever we're best friends like nothing ever sticks nothing will stick so do you guys have any tips for aspiring young mu musicians trying to start up that maybe you wish you had been told at first uh, no, just to never give up and honestly it's not just like it doesn't just come like you have to really like Especially now, it, I mean, it's so hard to be in a band and like trying to get noticed and be, like you just gotta you gotta be really unique. You gotta stand out and you really have to work for it. You have to. It's all about sacrifice. Yeah, it is. We're all so we're completely true. broke. We have zero money, but we give away all the CDs that we paid like thousands of dollars for. Yeah. Like we just that's what it is. It's all about sacrifice. I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah. Sacrificing being at home all the time and. Friends, family, like can't, money, can't, everything. You can't quit. Yeah, if this is what you want to do, then it's like the hardest thing to possibly you have to do. go through a lot of. Stupid and we're not stuff even there yet. Like we don't even. We're still starting out, kind of, you know. Yeah. But like we've already experienced what that's like. So. Um, so are you guys currently working on any new projects or music? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We actually are hopefully gonna release a song soon with a nice guest feature that you we guys cannot yeah. we cannot say right now but I'm sure everybody's gonna be super stoked about it. So we have it. three new singles coming out soon and we just recorded with Tom Denny from A Day to Remember, like two other ones. So those are gonna sound nuts. So and we'll have a we'll have videos. Yeah music that. videos for those. Like we just got a bunch of stuff coming out, like acoustic videos and just and a bunch we'll of stuff in the back of our we'll more two years Yeah. Now. Like actually, uh, actually, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, stuff, stuff coming up. Yeah, like so much things. It's overwhelming. It's yeah, gonna be pumping. Yeah, yeah, I get pumping stuff. Yeah, I get stuff.
Um, so now I'm going to ask two really random questions just to end it off. Yeah. Um, so the first one is, if your belly button was afraid of the dark and screamed every time you put a shirt on, what would you do? I personally, first, thing, first thing that came to my mind when you said that is I would cut a hole in my ah, shirt. Ah, genius idea. Like I would like cut a circle in my shirt right where my belly button was. That was the first thing that came to my mind. I'm going to be honest with you. I just never wear a shirt from what, it, okay, what does this scream sound like? Is it funny? If it's funny, I would torture the puppy. <laughs> just listen to it scream. Yeah. That's what I'd do. It's kind of it's, like, it's like a little... <laughs> <movie. laughs> I'd just be like... <laughs> if it was like a giggly laugh, then I'd do it all the time. But I probably just wouldn't wear it. <laughs> or like a crop top. Yeah, we'd wear crop tops. <laughs> um, and the other one is, if you were home alone and you heard a fart, would you laugh or be scared? Oh, I would laugh so hard. Oh, wait, alone? Yeah. Like, oh, alone. Uh, I didn't even think oh. of that. Alone? Actually, I'd be scared. Just random fart? I'd be like, wait, was that? Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably I, think it was my cat or something. Yeah, I would probably think it was me. Like yeah. Myself. And then like, I'm just like, wait, wow. did I just fish <laughs> out? I hope we can swear on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty bad. Not at all. So, anyways, thank you guys for doing the interview. No, thank you.